Welcome back, everyone. It is time for Earnings Exchange. We gave you the action, the story, and the trade on the three Bs yesterday. Today, we are hitting the three Cs. We're going down the alphabet. We've got CrowdStrike, ChargePoint, and Chewy. First up, CrowdStrike, the cybersecurity firm, nearly flat ahead of earnings, down 6% in 2022. Cybersecurity has been front and center between the ongoing Ukraine war and heightened tensions with China. But stocks have been struggling this year. Our own Dom Chu has a story on CrowdStrike. And we've also got Quint Tatro, Joel Financial founder and president, joins us with the trade. Dom, lay it out for us. So, Deirdre, here's a stock, as you can see in the chart, that's actually been trending higher, at least medium term, and it hasn't had nearly the kind of bigger pullback that some other tech stocks have had. And cybersecurity, like you point out, still very much an in-demand business, given all the cyber threats from around the world and our increasing reliance, frankly, on all things digital as a human species. Now, on that front, analyst consensus estimates call for 22 cents of earnings per share, Roughly $515, $515 million worth of revenues. So what could be a bigger driver of the shares post-report is the status of their new and recurring business. Now, it's a subscription-based company, meaning clients pay a regular fee for that cyber protection. To that end, you want to keep an eye on metrics like their annual recurring revenue, or ARR, also, how many net new subscribers the company is inked to deals. And then CrowdStrike has been showing some better cash flow trends on their operating side and for free cash flow overall. So are those positive trends still there for cash flow? Now, as for the stock, Deirdre, the options market is already expecting what could be a move of 8.5% mm -hmm. up or down in the shares after the report. And that's a little bit more volatile than it's been over the last four quarters, D. Yeah, as you mentioned, Dom, it has held up relatively better. And, Quint, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say this is expensive. Yes, I understand that. However, you know, we talked to a lot of folks in enterprise spend, and they say that cybersecurity is just one spot that CEOs, CTOs are not going to scale back on. So why can't you get behind this one? Well, Deirdre, I can't get behind it just because you said the fundamentals just aren't there for us. And especially in this environment, we have to stay true to the fundamentals and try to you know, not chase growth. And this is truly a growth company. Yes, it's 35% off highs, but it's still trading 100 times forward earnings. And basically those earnings, if they hit that number, which Dom said, and the whisper, by the way, is 31 cents. If they hit that number, it's a 50% growth. So it's already factoring in on a multiple basis, a huge growth driver, 28 times sales. Uh, yes, the, the, the news might be great. Obviously, there's a lot of headlines there that may goose this stock, you know, on the initial uh, release. But fundamentally, it's just not one I can get behind here. So is it cybersecurity that you think has run too far or is it CrowdStrike in particular? Is there another stock in the space that you like or is it a, as a sector as a whole you think it's run up too far? Yeah, unfortunately, there's just sectors and stocks that we're going to miss staying, you know, conservative often and boring, even though the next stock we're going to talk about is kind of my speculative long, but <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, but the reality is, is these are the kind of stocks that let's say we continue to trend lower and the market, you know, just gets hit. And these are the stocks that ultimately become cheap at some point. Then I would absolutely venture in. We've traded these names before when they had reasonable valuations and nobody thought that they could continue to grow. But 28 times sales in this environment, it's dangerous. Might go up on the earnings uh, play, but it's it just not for us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.